Okay, so what I've already done off camera is wash the wig, bleach the knots, and pluck the lace. This is a chocolate brown wig. I'm very excited to install this. I just wanted to show you guys the customizations that I did do to it off camera. So just know that it does not come like this. You will have to go ahead and customize it. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will be coming back at the end to let you guys know my final thoughts about it, but just a little teaser. This is not my first time having this wig. I've had this wig like three times. But we'll get into all that later. Okay, so I'm so excited to tell you guys about this hair because it's one of my favorites and like I mentioned earlier you guys I have got this wig three times messed it up twice third times a charm because now I finally slayed it correctly so let me tell you guys about the first attempt first attempt over plucked it second attempt over bleached the knots like I said third time having this wig I didn't mess it up this time thank god so I'm very happy about that it's from one of my favorite hair companies Ali Pearl Hair this is their uh, number four chocolate brown 13 by 4 HC lace wig now this wig is a pre-colored unit obviously but I did do a video not too long ago on like how to 
you know go from black to brown using the watercolor bleach bath method so if you guys don't want to go out and pay for a wig that's already pre-colored and you already have some hair that you want to do it on yourself i would encourage you guys to watch that video it's super easy super quick super simple and you will get this exact same result anyways the wig is 26 inches i'm going to stand up so you guys can see wig is 26 inches and this is where it falls on me i am 5'8 just for reference this is also the straight texture because it does come in straight and body wave and then the density on it is 200 percent density what else the wig also does come in just a standard cap size and yeah that is pretty much it now let me tell you guys what there is to love about this wig number one is going to be the color this is a very uh rich dark chocolate brown color and i'm absolutely obsessed with it um there's no like variations of color where certain parts are lighter than each other they colored this hair to a t and i love it second thing is going to be the hair texture it's very silky it's very soft the hair just flows like butter and that's always good because when you want when you get straight hair typically you want it to flow and just be real slippery and silky like this so that's perfect most importantly i know you guys can see this luster and shine that is on the hair which is absolutely gorgeous it just looks all glossy and polished it's not like one of those like dull looking type browns it's a very like i don't know how to explain it like a very glossy type of uh, chocolate brown hair color i mentioned this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig so my best advice would be for you to just throw it in a side part if you do get this wig it looks um so good as a side part just because you are limited with the parting space so pretty much right here is where the um parting space stops at so i mean if you put it in a middle part you're just i don't know it'll just look a little bit humpy in my opinion just because it's just a short range um of parting space but if you throw it on a side part it just looks 10 times better jetting with this hair is about average nothing too crazy there not a lot of flyaway hairs either which is what i really like i did go in with my wax stick but that was more so just to get the wig as flat as possible but i'm not having any issues with any type of flyaway hairs so the hair looked really good too i was going to go ahead and do it in a blunt cut but i kind of like how the ends already are if i do decide to change my mind i'll just do that later on once i take the wig off so i guess the only thing i didn't really care so much for is that the hairline is not pre-plucked at all so you will have to go in and pluck it i did have to pluck a decent amount of hair from the hairline just be prepared to do that once you get it the hairline is pretty full so you really have to go in and uh thin it out just to help it look not so like wiggy i am just absolutely obsessed with this color it just brings out your eyes it brings out your skin tone this flawless pretty much all there is to say about this wig but one more thing i want to mention it's not going to bleed when you wash it i've gotten uh pre-colored wigs before and when i go to wash them the color like kind of bleeds in the sink uh, when i washed this wig i didn't have that issue so that's something that i feel like you guys should know